Welcome to the shop everyone. Today on this 454 build, we're going to be addressing some of the problems we were having with the windage tray on the engine. Uh, on the last video, we clearanced the crank scraper so the reciprocating assembly could rotate freely. And also with the oil pickup tube, uh, or the dipstick I guess I should call it, uh, having trouble getting it to get past the windage tray. So I'm going to mark it here with a pencil and kind of see exactly where I need to drill a hole or modify it. Now this oil pan is for a C3 Corvette and so I'm not sure if they're just laid out a little different. I know they hold an extra quart and they have some baffling and stuff in there. Also I guess for cornering and braking. So I guess maybe a few of these things is why I had to modify this a little bit. All right, so we have it drilled all the way through. There's the line of sight. Kind of just lay the dipstick up in there to kind of see how it should fit through, you know, the windage tray with the oil pan on there. Something like that, I'm thinking. But let's stick the oil pan on there and find out. All right, ah, there's the test. Worked just fine. So that part is good to go. So now, uh, the other issue with that windage tray was it was hitting the back corner of the oil pan too. And so I need to clearance it a little bit to where it won't make contact with the back of the oil pan in that corner. So I'm going to take the old band saw here, cut off a corner. Take it over to the old belt sander and smooth it up a little bit. Then I always like to use a die grinder just to round everything where there's no sharp edges. Ah, it's looking nice. All right, so next thing I want to do is install that uh, oil pickup tube onto that oil pump. So I just make the block straight up and down, and then I put the pickup on there, make sure it's straight up and down, and make a mark. Then we're going to use that new tool that I made to install that pickup onto that pump. Now, I probably should have clamped the oil pump into something other than, other than just trying to hold it there. But either way, I finally got it in there and it, it, it worked pretty nice. All right, that was, that, that was pretty easy. All right, so now I wanna check the clearance between the pickup tube and the bottom of the oil pan. Now I don't have a gasket on there so I can I bet you to be a 16th to maybe 3 30 seconds more room than what the clay will show us. Ah, that's going to work out good. Alright, so I want to TIG weld a spot onto the pickup to where it can't rotate or come off. But I'm not going to weld the whole thing because I don't want to get a whole lot of heat into that oil pump. Just spot welding it basically. All right, now I'm just checking the height of those bolts that hold up the uh, windage tray. Now that's the oil pump drive. It's a, uh, I'll say like ARP <laughs> oil pump drive. It's a very nice finished piece. It's, I just, I really do like the way ARP does finishing work on their product. All right, let's see if it fits on there. Spins around. All right, let's get that old pump on there. All right, next will be that windage tray. Go ahead and bolt that old pump down.
Put a little Loctite on those, where those nuts will hold that windage tray in place. Now the spec I'll be tightening this windage tray down to is called good and tight. And I'll check that oil pump bolt one more time just for good measures. Alright, happy with that. Now I turned it just to make sure nothing was hidden, everything still was happy. So now it's time to mark everything. In case the build gets interrupted, if I come back a month later, I'll know that all these parts are, are in finished state. And there's a little spot weld I put on there to hold the pickup in place. All right, things are looking good. I think I'm about ready to put that oil pan on there. So those are the oil pan bolts I bought for it. And what I'm gonna do here is the crank scraper itself. I'm gonna use these oil pan bolts and I'm gonna put some silicone on the block itself and I'm gonna bolt the crank scraper to it and use the bolts to pull it down tight against the block. Then I'll let it sit up for probably an hour or so before I put the pan on there. So that's the silicone that I'm gonna stick I guess the crank scraper to I guess you would say learned over the years some things just want to lay on the floor so I'm just gonna let that thing lay on the floor go ahead and tighten them down and so that's the seal between the block and it where oil can't get through it now on the other side will be the gasket or the pan gasket so I'll let it sit for about an hour So now I'm going to take those bolts out and lay the pan gasket in place. It's looking good. Alright, so let's get the pan on there. Go ahead and tighten it down. Now I did put a little silicone around the top side of the gasket. Try to use as sparingly as I could. I'm just going back and forth, tightening a little bit at a time, kind of bringing it down. All right, so now that oil pan's on there for good. Time to turn that engine around the other direction where it faces up. And so now, we're ready to start working on the top end part of this engine. So, you know, the oil pan took a little while, but I have everything done the way I feel pretty good about it. So, the next thing we'll be getting the ARP studs, screwing those in there, uh, the head gaskets, and also installing these AFR cylinder heads. And again, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things. And we hope to see y'all on the next project. Hey guys, thanks so much.